beware of um, people bearing gifts when their history is one of not doing so. Beware of um, people bearing gifts when their history is one of not doing so. And I say that about Elon Musk. This idea that he cares about freedom of speech is a joke. Yeah, he is yeah. running SpaceX. He's fronting it up. It's the cult that owns it. He um, is fronting up SpaceX, which is putting up all these low orbit satellites to beam 5G, etc., at the Earth, 6G and 7G to come. <laughs> um, he's running um, Tesla, which is producing um, electric driverless cars, justified, the electric side of it, justified by human caused climate change that isn't happening. And why? Are they pushing electric cars, justified by the hopes of human cause global warming? <coughs> because they want driverless cars, which are driven by computer. And that can't happen with petrol engines, diesel engines. It happens with electrically driven cars. Doesn't that make and you think the robot? The computer is that it's all of a sudden a planned accident. Oop. Car yeah, exactly. And again, you have people out there like, I don't see what the big deal is. If Who cares if the thing drives for you? It's like, there's, what do you mean? I'm not going to go get in a car right now, especially like you said, oh, how do you know they're not coming for you? Well, the easiest way to come for me would be have my car veer off the road sometime when they're driving it. Yeah, so, yeah I mean, course, you're much safe. You're much safer if you're a normie, right? Like, like right. we we might not need to get a Tesla, but if you're over there playing Fortnite all day, yeah. you'll probably be all right. <laughs> and and even, even if they have the occasional accident, you know, with the computer-driven cars, they're still going to say, well, it's still infinitely safer than driver cars, right? Therefore, they're going to justify it, and you know that's how they're going to make people accept it. I wonder and if then right Will now. Smith's trying to save the day, and it takes over. Yeah, exactly. It's funny though because who's going to who who's going to be responsible when it kills somebody? So I've never nobody's ever answered that. Who's going to what insurance company is going to cover a car? But if I'm in a car, my car's driving itself, and it kills a pedestrian, am I responsible? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. And yeah, no, they actually had one of these cars. A guy was calling it, and it was in a parking lot with no people. He was just testing it out, and it was supposed to be like a curbside thing where it comes from the parking spot and drives up to the front of the store for you. Right. And it ran two stop signs while doing it. There's and the cop that pulled the car. Cops. Have you seen it ran away from the cops? <laughs> oh my God! No, I didn't miss that one. There's one where oh, the cops gets in an accident because it, like, according to Elon Musk or whatever, they said it, oh, it couldn't find a suitable place to park. It was playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> Just takes off in front of you. So anyway, uh, so there's the Ike thing, like I said, and then um, he mentions Trump in there as well, which is the same thing. I mean, Trump is he's like Trump trying to pretend like he's against the establishment when he is the establishment. If, if we can effectively uh, um, merge with uh, AI by um, improving that uh, the, the, the neural link between your cortex and the, the, the your digital extension yourself, which already, like I said, already exists, just has a bandwidth issue. Dude, have you guys heard, you know, Grimes is the Fuck girl goodness. that Elon was with, right? And hit a baby from everyone too? Yeah. Okay, so have you guys ever heard of a song that she did called We Appreciate Power? No. All right, dude, bear with me. I'm going to read a little bit of these lyrics, but this is in, insane. So it's, it's called We Appreciate Power. It says it over and over, and then it says, What will it take to make you capitulate? We appreciate power. Elevate the human race. Put makeup on my face. We appreciate power. Simulation, give me something good. God's creation, so misunderstood. Pray to the divinity, the keeper of the key. One day, everyone will believe. What will it take to make you capitulate? We appreciate power. When will the street or when will the state agree to cooperate? We appreciate power. People like to say that we're insane, but AI will reward us when it rains. Pledge allegiance to the world's most powerful computer simulation. It's the future. And then it says, what will it make? What will it take to make capitulate over and over? Elevate the human race. And if you long to never die, baby, plug in, upload your mind. Come on, you're not even alive if you're not backed up on a drive. 
<laughs> and then it wow. keeps saying, keeps saying we appreciate Whoa. the power. What will it make to? What will it take to make you capitulate? What will it take to make you capitulate? And then at the end it says, Neanderthal, Neanderthal, the human being, evolution killed the gene. Biology is superficial. Intelligence is artificial. And then it just says, submit, 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 submit to end the song. That's so creepy. She's such a weirdo. Isn't that wild though? I mean, I mean, he made a baby with that. To think that they're not on the same page. Not, so not one, two, two, two yeah, babies. The first, the first one they named X A E whatever. The second one, she was in an interview and they heard a baby crying, and they said, "What's that?" And she's like, "What?" And they're like, "There's a baby crying." And she's like, "Oh." She went and got the baby, and then reviewed on the interview on that interview that that's also Elon's baby that they just had. They just hid it from everybody and had the baby crying in another room, and she was home by herself <laughs> in an interview. Just crazy. crazy crazy bro they, they they clearly have an agenda to you know uh have an artificial technocracy artificial intelligence technocracy as his grandfather was arrested for that very thing so yeah it's very crazy very crazy stuff it doesn't work anymore to defend the globe there's too many truthers that have seen through the lie so to be a truther who still avoids this is uh getting to be uh it's kind of showing your true colors Dude, and even from like a tactical perspective, because you know a lot of people they self censor because they want uh, viewer retention. Like we're talking about how Alex Jones said he'd isolate half his crowd, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But it's starting to flip over where now you're actually not going to be considered a credible source of truth if you keep denying flat Earth. Like it's a, it's going to flip over. So some people are starting to realize like my chats are flooded with flat Earthers. So maybe I can just bite the bullet and actually start to talk about it and look into it honestly. And so I, I think we're just in this crazy period that's like kind of tipping back and forth and it's about to flip over. But who knows? How about the channel Archaics? Have you guys looked at him at all? Yeah. Nope. No, I've seen people mention him though. Yeah, you should check it out because he's uh, he's well, he's somebody who puts dates on the line, which I like. He, he is somebody who went to prison. I don't really know the whole story, but he went to prison and in prison became in charge of the library. So he just for like 27 years read books nonstop and um, has all these connections. He's pulling connections together and actually saying that every 120 years, there's a reset and every 400 and something years. So and it's always in May, May 15th. It's funny because when I go back and look at my notes, there's whenever these Christians predict the end of the world, they're usually predicting it in May for some reason. And so it's funny that he says it's in May and that it goes um, like clockwork and that the elite know this. The next one is supposedly 2040, um, I think. So anyway, he's great, but he still talks about the globe and things like that. And I bet you it's just a matter of time because his channel's really blowing up that he sees through that too. Because I bet you if somebody gets in there and talks to him about it, I don't know if he's even heard about it yet, but maybe with all his reading, a lot of things will start to click. It's about minimizing... Um the risk of uh, existential harm um, in the future. And uh, so I, I think it's going well. I'm pretty impressed with what people are doing and the ta talent level. We're headed towards either super intelligence or civilization ending. And, and then another point that I think is really important to appreciate is that um, we are, all of us, already are cyborgs. Um, so you have a machine extension of yourself in the form of your your phone and your computer and all your applications, you are already superhuman.